just a quick video to show you that uh, uh, after updating the uh, Windows, after updating Windows, I got this uh, browser choice, uh, this option here, an important choice to make your browser. So I think Microsoft was fined a few years ago that uh, they make Internet Explorer as the default browser. So now you have a choice to choose which browser you want to uh, use rather than just uh, be confined to uh, Internet Explorer. So as you can see, uh, we are inside the the start screen, not on the desktop. That's why we get, we have the full screen app. So um, I think I'm not sure if I already got Chrome installed, but I'm gonna install it. Um, as you can see, it took us back to uh, Internet Explorer. So and same thing with Firefox as well. Um, so I want to have Firefox and Internet Explorer. So what I do is uh, I will check the other tab. Optional, accept and install. Run. Uh, I don't think that uh, the the Chrome has taken us to the desktop. So I'm curious to know what. Uh, so that's it. Chrome has been installed. What about the uh, Firefox? Firefox. I'm, I'll, I'll be curious to see Firefox as an app and the Chrome as an app as well on the start screen. So the Chrome is installing. I just want to see what the Firefox is doing. And this is for the Firefox as well. Your download has completed. Uh, okay. That's the Chrome. Let's go back to the desktop and see if the Firefox, the browser choice is actually uh, here as well. So if you want to return later, it's there. It will be pinned to you. So let's see what the Firefox. Hmm. I'm looking for the Firefox. I don't know what the Firefox is doing. I think it just downloaded the Firefox without doing anything to it. So let's look inside our download folder. Downloads. There is nothing there. Hmm. Right. Downloads. It's empty. I'm still curious to see where the Firefox is. because I'm very sure that I actually click Firefox. Um, come on, Windows. What's going on? No. Windows is not responding. It's nothing new. Let's go back to the, so this is Google Chrome. Let's go back to the browser choice. Let's select install again to Firefox. Let's see what happened. Oh, that's not my point. Exit Chrome. Mm, it looks like, uh, let's try again, browser choice. We want to install Firefox. Nothing is happening. Okay, Firefox is downloading now, so. Show all downloads. There's only Firefox that is downloading. So once you select what you need, just install them. So you don't have to use um, ie as your only browser so what i want to do now is what i show in the, one of the previous video let's go to oh god i keep pressing that by mistake 
let's go let's click on the IE let's look at the Internet Explorer where is it IE Internet Explorer so now it will take you to the desktop version now because we have changed the default to okay set Internet Explorer as your default browser to go as uh, fast and free yeah, I want to set it as the default browser how do you want to open this type of link? I want to use Internet Express to open it, and the reason is because I show you in one of the previous video. Oh yeah, this is our um the Firefox that uh, we downloaded. Uh, I show you in the last video that uh, in one of the previous uh, previous video that if you set the any other browser as default then you will not be able to use your Metro browser. Every time you click on the Internet Explorer icon, it will take you to the desktop version. I think that should be rectified by Microsoft. Thank you.